so welcome to today's lecture so in the previous class i discussed about uh, transition table the continuation of continuation of that problem so i wrote the transition table and all those transition how to rise uh, how to eliminate the rise all those things i discussed here so in the last stage i need to design the sigma sequential network for that particular problem okay from the beginning class i write a problem for that problem i am writing all these steps so with that problem you will be get understand uh, what are the different uh, states how to write the minimal collection of maximal compatible set how to get a maximum compatible set how to write the uh, assignment state assignment how to draw adjacent diagonal like that way these are the different steps now uh, last stage is uh, we need to write the i will to draw the circuit for that particular problem so for that we need a excitation table so i wrote the transition table next is excitation table here i am choosing d flip flop okay so assume implementation is achieved using d flip flop so the excitation table is same as that of transition table if in the in the question if it is defined you have to write this you have to use this particular uh, flip flop like that if they are defined then you have to choose that but here for the simplicity i am choosing D flip flop why because both the present uh, transition and excitation state state we can write it as say. So here uh, this is the transition uh, table I wrote and the same transition table I write it as press uh, excitation table. This is the present state of y1 y2. This is y1 y2 okay. Uh, this is the next state capital y1 y2 x1 x2 are the input. The different states and next state this is the output. Okay. So that's about it. Uh, so what you have to do, you have to find out y1 and y2, d flip flop only. So first write the k m f for y1. How to write the k m f for y1? So these are the input variable y1, y2. Uh, next is the present set variable y1, y2. X1, x2 are the inputs. K m f for y1, it is a six, uh, four variable k m f. So, how to fill up this 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So, 0, 0, 0, 0. What is next is it y1. We considering y1, that means first letter of this group, this block, this column. First letter of this column, first letter of this, first letter. Why? Because y1 is the first letter. So, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. What is the first letter? 0. So, that's why 0. 0, 0, 1. What is this? 0, 0, 0, 1. What is the first letter? Y1, 1. So that is Y1. 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 1, 1. Consider the first letter 1. So that is 1. 0, 0, 1, 0. 0, 0, 1, 0. What is the first letter? 0. So that's 0. In that way, you filled, completely filled up this. This 0, 1 stage is completely don't care. Why? Because 0, 1 is not defined in this stage. So it is don't care. So you completely filled up this reduce the km up you will get equation like this y1 equal to x2 plus y2 plus x1 y1 similarly for y2 you would draw the km up uh, 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 consider for y2 you consider second letter 0 so this 0 like that for this one you consider this state 1 1 1 1 what is why this one look at this 1 1 1 1 next letter is 1 second letter is 1 so that side is 1 like that you 0 1 consider 0 1 0 1 completely don't care completely don't care so like that you completely fill up this y2 you'll get y2 as y2 equal to x2 y2 plus x1 bar x2 y1 now similarly for uh, z you have to write the output <coughs> uh, z means nothing but our output only na? <coughs> here also four variables 0 0 0 0 like that 0 0 0 0 what is 0 0 0 0 0 output is 0 0 0 0 1 output is 0 0 0 0 1 output is 0 0 0 1 1 output is 1 0 0 1 1 output is 1 like that you completely fill up this k map you will get used as x1 x2 bar y1 plus x1 x2 y2 bar so you go three equations y1 y2 x z so with that you can write the log block diagram sorry logical diagram so which is d d free flow so y1, y2 we choose this, this equation correspondingly you map to here. 
see look at this first is d1 uh, d1 means y1 how to get y1 x2 y2 x1 y1 so this is x2 x1 y1 and so x1 y1 and you get then plus or get y2 so y2 you choose from here y2 another input is x2 x2 or this you will get y1 y1 of d1 only so d1 similarly d2 what is d2 uh, x2 y2 so this is x2 and this is uh, y2 x2 y2 and uh, plus x1 bar x2 y1 x1 bar x2 this y1 and then the of this or you will get or operation you will get d2 as y2 as d2 okay so this is the complete uh, logic diagram so initially what we start we start for this problem this is the beginning design a fundamental mode asynchronous sequential mode, uh, network meeting the following condition so you need to design the asynchronous sequential network for this condition so we follow different steps and this is the corresponding asynchronous sequential network this is the asynchronous sequential network for the defined problem what was the problem this is the problem for this problem we have to design asn so first you draw the uh, blow, uh, flow table then flow chart uh, then primitive flow table then implication table from that implication table you reduce the uh, table then you reduce the table then from the table you assign the state table from the assigned state table you reduce it to another uh, transition table uh, to reduce the rise all those things we did and finally you go to excitation table from the table you write kmap equations from the kmap equations you will be able to get the logical diagram so this is the complete design of an asynchronous sequential network so this is about the second module from till this so with this uh, lecture so with this lecture i we completed the second module